Okay, so this is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to make about building a cheap VMware ESXi server. So what I've got here is a nice Dell PowerEdge 1950. This was purchased off eBay for £250. It claims to be a G3, but I think it might be a G1 or a G2. I'm not entirely sure, but basically if we take the front bezel off, um, I haven't actually got a key, but it's not a problem. You just push in on the side there and the whole thing comes off. So even if you don't have a key, don't worry about it. Uh, so the thing that I found suspicious is the fact it's got um, three and a half inch drives rather than two and a half inch drives. I think the G3 comes with two and a half inch, but I'll have to check on the Dell website. I'm not entirely sure. And you see this particular model is quite lucky. Came comes with two SAS drives, 146 gigs each. Also, they're the faster 15K drives. And you can see both both caddies are fully populated. Uh, these ones have got Seagate cheaters in them. So very nice high speed drive. So I was quite chuffed about that. <clears throat> Remember this was only £250, this particular one. Also it comes with two quad core 3 gigahertz Xeon CPUs. So no slouch there either. And 16 gigs of RAM. So I was very, very happy with my purchase. Let me just take a look around the back. You'll also see that it's equipped with dual hot swappable power supplies. So they pull out nicely. And we've got standard two gigabit ports, uh, a couple of USBs, got a monitor VGA port for a standard KV KVM serial port, and the good old onboard DRAC port, which I'm going to be using to um, initially configure and set up this server. So basically I'm going to hook up the DRAC, uh, plug in a KVM, boot up the, the DRAC BIOS, set an IP address, and then I'm going to access it remotely via a browser <clears throat> to actually build the server to run ESXi. So let's just have a quick look inside. Luckily the uh, the case isn't locked so I can just pop it and you can see even just with one hand the whole, the whole lid comes off. And this is where it gets interesting because you can see underneath here there's a full fully populated bank 16 gigs of RAM and I'm not going to lift this cover up, but you can see there's a couple of CPUs under there. Yeah, I can see them. You probably won't be able to see them on here. That's why I didn't want to pull this up, because you can see I can't get it back down now. There we go. Shed loads of fans. Uh, and what looks like a very tidy system indeed. So, I'm going to pop this back on, try and find some power in a KVM, power it up, and then uh, make a second video.